Greetings from Cybertron. This is Soundjack here with a review of the Transformers Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Nova Star. You may be wondering why I'm reviewing Nova Star when she's from Power of the Primes that ended last year and we're getting close to the end of Siege. Uh, but it's because I do want to review um, Green Light and uh, Lancer, as well as the combined form of Orthea, but I realized I never reviewed Nova Star, so I'm going to do a quick review on her, and then get to those other two, and then do a review on Orthea herself, the combiner. But taking a look at Nova Star here, she is the renamed Firestar from the original G1 cartoon. Uh, her body is directly based off of the Moonracer body that was received earlier in the Power of the Primes toy line. Uh, but it is, this one has a very nice red color scheme. Nice gray underneath this trans translucent plastic up front. A little bit of blue and orange to pick out that detail. A clear, clear plastic here. A uh, nice like creamy colored stripe along the side with the Autobot symbol. Wheels have painted gray rims, a little bit more orange there. Autobot symbol right here. And then awkwardly sticking out hands on the back, just like a uh, moon racer. <laughs> and underneath you can see all of that going on. Uh, she does roll. She's got four rolling wheels. The surface isn't necessarily the greatest surface to roll on, but it does roll on all four wheels. Uh, the biggest issues are these tabs kind of stick down, and if that's going to cause any issues with rolling, it's going to be those, for sure. Uh, but she does come with some accessories. Uh, she comes with this blaster weapon. It is a new weapon, not the same as um, Moonracer's gun. Uh, it's very nice, got uh, 5 million reports, uh, gray plastic, gray paint, I should say, with black plastic. Is why would the, 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 the peg be painted black? There's no good reason for that. Uh, and that has a 5mm peg and can tab into those ports there and there and here. Even if you can get it to go. It's going to be at an angle just because of how that works. But you can do it. And then you also have um, her prime armor piece. As all the X-Classes had this prime armor piece which could be used to hold a Prime Master. Uh, this is a cover piece that can also, that also has the, is five millimeter compatible and looks like a clear plastic gun. Uh, this bit as well is able to hold not just the Prime Masters, but Titan Masters and um, Matrix cores or Enigma cores, I should say. So anything that is compatible with the Titan Master stuff is also compatible with this. Also fun fact, uh, that was learned very recently thanks to the Seacons coming out in Japan. These are also compatible with uh, <laughs> with uh, combiner pegs. Uh, and it's not relevant in this video, but I'm just like, if you didn't hear about that, you can stick uh, the c these combiner ports pegs into these hands and uh, you can you can wield them. You can, you can have fun. You can have a lot of fun with those. But I figured I'd mention that, though it's not specifically relevant to Nova Star. Uh, yeah, it's predominantly red, got the orange fingers going on there, and the 5mm port, again, can be plugged anywhere, but I do kind of like sticking it on here to kind of extend the body. Come on. Why don't you want to cooperate? There we go. Uh, kind of put it like there and just make this very long Cybertronian car mode even longer with turbo with uh, turbo vents or boosters or what have you. Uh, that's what I like to do. You don't have to do that. But if I have her in that mode, that's what I do with her. And that is all to say about Nova Star's alternate mode. So let's take a quick look at some size comparisons. Oh, before the comparisons, I did forget. Uh, if you have a Time Master or a Prime Master, they can stick on this peg right here and this one here. Those are, there's tiny holes at the bottom of their feet. You can stick them in, I think it's only those two ports on here. Yeah, so it's just those two. Alrighty, now for the size comparisons. 
Here she is with uh, Power of the Primes, Legends class Tailgate, and Siege Deluxe class Sideswipe, Voyager class Optimus Prime, Leader class Ultra Magnus, her mold mate Moonracer, her leader Elita One, and one of her squad mates from the original episode, Chromia. So now let's roll right along with the transformation. Uh, as she does form a limb, she does have four separate modes, her alt mode, leg mode, arm mode, robot mode. We are going to go in that order with her transformation. Uh, so to get her into her uh, leg mode, I should say, uh, do thing, first thing you're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and detach this and rotate this all the way around like so using those two hinges there and these square pegs are gonna go into those slots in the robot and her robot mode thighs like so we'll lift that up we're gonna swing that down like so and then we're gonna push that in like so and then up here, we're gonna undo the arms, pull them forward, and put this tab into that slot right there. And they were originally in that tab, that slot right there. We're gonna fold the hand back down. So undo from that slot, put it in that slot, and flip the hand down and then flip up the combiner peg and there is Alita, I mean not Alita, uh, Nova Star in her leg mode. Why doesn't this look straight? There we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. Leg mode. Uh, the foot is not a part of her so I'm not putting it on. Uh, but it will have full rotation because it's a five millimeter port in there. You can spin that all the way around. Uh, it's kind of goofy looking with her arms up like this and her hands like so clearly exposed. Uh, but I mean, overall, it, it does what it needs to do. It's nice how this hides away and comes out for the alt mode. And then the combiner peg uh, does all the stuff the other combiner pegs too. They can ratchet down and ratchet side to side. So there you go. Quick panel once around. And now let us get her into arm mode. So to do that, we are going to move this out, flip that down, and flip this down all the way. And we're gonna, let's just make her uh, this right arm for now. And we're going to straighten that out like so. Actually, we want to rotate it not not at the just the crotch section, but the whole waist. So that can be in the back. The arms do, in fact, stay up there. And then we flip the combiner peg down. And then we get her prime armor. And we're going to flip the fingers out. I'm going to flip... The thumbs in and since we're making her uh, right arm right now we're gonna make you can rotate that so that thumb looks a little less awkwardly sticking up there and just plug that in and there you have Nova Star as an arm let's do a quick 360 of that arm like so a uh, little awkward. She's got the this big cape going on thing covering her elbow, I guess. I don't know. Uh, the combiner does the same things, and the hand can rotate. It's got this ball-jointed thumb as well as these hinged fingers. So as well as this double elbow bend and this rotation here. So you got quite a bit of movement out of that arm. Uh, however, due to how she's designed, her hand technically cannot go straight down with her arm as the the port is on an angle as design as in its design. So that's a thing for sure to keep an eye about. But that's it for arm mode. So moving on to robot mode. 
I take that off. I'll come back here and rotate all that around. Uh, we're gonna flip that in actually. No, yeah, we're good, we're good. Uh, we're gonna open those, move those out of the way, flip the whole chest down, rotate her head out, and flip that back up. And we can strain the arms out right now, why not? Uh, we can rotate this all the way around again. Uh, flip this section up, these tabs right there and there, sorry, there and there. We'll go into slots there and there, like so. And then we can split, flip down the feet, flip down the feet, rotate there at the waist, uh, at the crotch. And there is Nova Star in her robot mode. Uh, and she, again, based off the Moon Racer mode, and it has those flaws like the giant backpack. But you know what? These colors, it, it makes it look a lot better. The red and orange looks so nice. See, she's got a backpack. Uh, she has trouble standing. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Um, uh, uh, first thing, uh, it's a comment. Uh, you can hinge these back however you want. You can put them all the way back. You can leave them all the way out. I, to help distinguish, since there are four versions of this mold that exist, uh, to distinguish them a bit, I try to keep these at different angles. And I like these out, flared out a bit because they kind of give a little bit more of a flamey vibe, I guess, because they're kind of like flames spewing out of her. That's my logic behind it. But like, I kind of like how that looks and works in my opinion, but you do what you want. Taking a look at the face, quite accurate to the G1 model with the nice gray helmet, a little orange section on top. Uh, I think it's accurate to the model. Well, at least it's colored like so. And then the nice cream colored face, you got some orange. Um, um, why can't I think of it? What, what uh, collar, a nice orange collar going on there, I should say. Uh, chest details, the gray chest and Autobots symbol underneath gray waist and then these gray sections to that are necessary because of that uh, and just kind of ruin the designed slimming figure and just makes it awkward and like you could just you could have just not given her hips I don't know uh, uh, the arms are solid red with orange fists the thighs are orange while the rest of the leg are fists except for the feet that are gray and then you just got all that going on in the back. Articulation wise, her head can rotate a full 360. It is on a ball joint, so it can go up and down and up and down and a little bit side to side. Uh, arms on ball joints can do a full 360 uh, if you angle it a bit. Uh, elbows are, and it can also go all the way out. Elbows are also on ball joints. You can get greater than 90 degrees of bend there. And you can also get uh, a, thigh, a, a swivel rotation there at the elbow. The wrists can go in if that matters. Uh, hips, uh, waist I mean, full 360 there. Uh, the top one doesn't move because this is now locked in, uh, but that is fine. You got the other rotation. Uh, hips are also on ball joints. They can go that far forward, that far back, use the backpack, knees can bend, their primary knee joint is 90 degrees, but you can use the transformation if you want to get an even deeper knee bend there. And then also there's the swivel, thigh swivel, um, and then the feet can pivot up that far, pivot down that far, and there's Sorta of a little bit of ankle tilt, but like not really. It's just, it's just like from there to like there. So I don't know if that counts. It, I guess, I guess it counts. Why not, right? Why not? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, as for accessories, she can hold her, whoops, gun in her hand like so. 
or you can put it onto these parts here. And here, she can also hold, of course, she is going to fall again, uh, this gun into her hand if you want her to, like so. Uh, and uh, the prime armor piece, just do all of this. You put that back in there for now. And these tabs on the thumbs are going to go into those slots there and there. You can fold this down forward to keep that slim. And there is her wearing her prime armor or the, the, the papoose as some people have called it, mostly few, I think. Uh, but yeah, there's there's her prime armor armor on. Uh, but I do prefer, as with most of my Transformers from Power of the Primes, to stick it into the, sorry, the stick it into the forearm slot and have her use it as like a buckler shield of some kind. It's kind of nice. I like it. I think it works. Um, and de-weaponizing her. Come on. Come on. And that is all there is to say about Nova Star. So let's take a look at some robot mode size comparisons. Here she is with Legends Class Tailgape and Deluxe Class Sideswipe, Voyager Class Optimus Prime and Leader Class Ultra Magnus, her mold mate Moon Racer, her teammates Chromia and Elita One, and of course the channel's mascots Soundwave and Wheeljack. So overall, uh, I'm glad Nova Star exists as a toy. I'm glad that all of the female Autobots from the female Autobots premiere episode in the G1 cartoon have gotten representations in toy form. My biggest wish is that they all didn't use the same base mold. Like, I can understand, like, two of them sharing because there's not a whole lot, because they're not so notable that they all deserve their own original body. But, like, all four of them are going to have one same mold? That's, that's, uh, that's annoying, I must say. And I'll probably state that again in the other videos. However, I do think Nova Star is really good, especially because of her color scheme. Uh, just looks nice. And like I said, these bits sticking out make sense. So you don't have to literally have all of the weight on the back, in my opinion. So I think she's pretty good. And I can't wait to see her and the others combined to form Orthea. So with that being said, thanks for tuning. Um, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at soundjack426. Also, please be sure to check out my coffee account if you wish to help support the channel. The link for that is in the description down below. And you should also check out RDSJ Gaming, where I play video games with Alyssa, aka The Rational Dove. And with that being said, thanks for tuning in. This is Soundjack signing off.